In this episode of our DIY e-bike build, we are going to be installing a jack shaft for our gear reduction. Stay tuned. Okay, so I have this leftover engine plate. Um, this was from a uh, Schwinn Meridian Predator 212 uh, motorized bike kit. Uh, that ended up being a really scary vehicle actually, not that fun to ride. But it's a really nice thick gauge piece of steel. So I'm going to use it as our mounting plate for the jack shaft and then use two pillow block bearings here. And it's kind of hard to see with the light, but I have it traced out from here and then down along here and then on the bottom as well. And those are the lines I'm going to cut out as our mounting plate for the pillow block bearings. And then our shaft will go through here and then we're going to have our big sprocket on one side and our smaller sprocket on the other. And then we are going to use these muffler clamps to attach it to the downpipe underneath the, uh, or down tube underneath the seat. So it's going to basically have one of these U-bolts go through uh, both of these holes here and then that'll be the mounting point. And then I'll uh, drill two more holes down here and then have the other muffler clamp. So. First thing I'm going to do is go ahead and take off these blocks now that I've marked the holes and then I'm just going to go ahead and drill my 3 8 inch holes in the center of each of these. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect because there is quite a bit of play on these bearings. Um, you can, I don't know if you can see on the camera, but you can pivot these around any way you want and then they have these giant slots there so I can move them up and down. So we should be able to be able to just eyeball it based on my marks that I made and it should be close enough. So I'll go ahead and drill those and then uh, we'll get started. Alright so I have my hole center punched already here. Um, the key to being able to drill through really thick steel like this is a lot of pressure so I'm standing on a chair here and then I'm going to be putting my weight into the drill and then you want to go with a slow speed and then a really thick oil like gear oil. This is 90 weight for boats but this seems to work pretty well. So we'll just put a little bit there and then I'll add more as I'm drilling. Just want to make sure it doesn't smoke and then you want a really sharp bit which I don't have at the moment so this might take a while but we're gonna go ahead and give it a shot. Alright, now I'm just going to go up until I hit the 3 8 step on the drill. I'll make sure to oil the bit as well. Four drill bits later, I finally found one that was sharp enough on the uh, 3 8 step to go through. So I'm going to go ahead and do all the other three now. Okay, so now that I have all four of these holes drilled out, I'm going to go ahead and bring this out to the shop and use the angle grinder and a cutting wheel to cut along these three lines here. Now I'll just go ahead and uh, clean up the edges here and make it a little less sharp and then we should be ready to mount this up on the bike. Okay I've switched over to a uh, 200, no 24 grit uh, metal grinding wheel for this. It's a bit thicker so I don't have to worry about uh, chunks of it breaking off. I'm just going to round out the corners and then smooth these edges. And 
there we go. I think I might smooth that out a little bit more with an abrasive wheel or a wire brush, but that's pretty much ready to go. So now we're just going to go ahead and bolt this plate up right here, and hopefully we don't run into any clearance issues with the pedals. Let's just turn them and check here. Oh. That's going to be good. Basically, these are going to go like that to help brace it. And then these guys are going to be on the other side. I think I'm going to have to start with just one though. All right. So I'll just put this nut on here just to keep it from falling off. Then we'll do the same for the bottom. In case you're wondering, these are inch and a half muffler clamps. So they were pretty much just the smallest ones I could find because this is a pretty small bike. Okay, then I'll go ahead and put the other one on here. Get that side going. Ooh, I hope those bolts are long enough. Should be just about right. I just realized I'm going to have to flip-flop these so I can tighten the set screws up here. So, let's go ahead and do that right away. So one will be upside down, but I don't think it's going to matter. up our shaft just to make sure that the bearings are lined up and this is a really good uh, example here you can see how much that pivots inside the pillow block which makes it really handy for just kind of winging stuff if measuring's not your cup of tea these are the bearings for you there we go and we'll just scooch this back up. All right, so now that we know that is going to line up, we can go ahead and tighten our nuts all the way here. Yep, those U-bolts were just the perfect length. Trying not to go too tight because I don't want to collapse the tube, but at the same time I want them tight enough so they don't vibrate loose. Before the first run I'll probably take these apart and put some blue Loctite on them though, just to be safe. Granted this shouldn't vibrate as nearly as much as a gas motor, but because we have chains and sprockets it's going to vibrate a little bit at least. There we go, we have our jack shaft. Okay, I got this from a different angle here for you guys. So you can see here uh, how this works. Just got the muffler clamp around the down tube here for the seat post. And then I'm utilizing the U-bolts from the muffler clamp as the bolts to mount these pillow block bearings which hold the shaft. So basically that sprocket we welded on uh, uh, together last week, that's just going to slide right on there. And I'm still going to have to cut this to length, but I don't have the sprocket for the other side yet. That's going to come in the mail. But basically, just so you can see, this will be able to slide further. But this is just going to run this sprocket here. So that's going to be about a 5 to 1 gear ratio. And then on the back side, take this off. 
And then on the back side, we're going to have a smaller sprocket, maybe a 9 or 10 tooth, and then that's going to run over to the 44 tooth here. And that should give us a top speed in the teens of miles per hour, which is just about right for this little motor here. All right, thanks for watching today, guys. Um, I had a lot of fun working on the e-bike today. We got a lot of progress done. It's starting to look like a motorized bike and not just a pedal bike at this point, which is awesome. Um, we still got a long ways to go though. So make sure you guys subscribe, hit that notification bell. That way you'll be notified the next time we have a video coming out, um, which is usually every Sunday. Um, like I said though, we are going to have to wait for some parts in the mail on this, so next week we're probably going to be doing something different, and then hopefully by the week after that we'll be back on the e-bike. Anyway, stay tuned, and I will see you guys next time.